Good morning, New York City. It is one of New York City's best dressed red carpet events, and that's really saying something. Dozens of A-list stars turned out last night at one of the world's great art museums to celebrate two visionary artists of the fashion industry. The glitz, the glamour. The annual Costume Institute Gala at New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art is known as the Oscars of the East. It's another illustration of what makes this city so exciting and in large part due to Anna Winter. On this night, the co-chair and Vogue editor-in-chief plays host to a crowd draped in masterpieces. I always say that you can look at a great fashion photograph and it can tell you just as much about what's going on in the world as a CBS News program. I mean, it, 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 fashion is history, fashion is culture. Fashion reflects the times. The Institute's new exhibit, Scaparelli and Prada, Impossible Conversations, pairs the works and thoughts of two legendary designers. My salvation was stumbling into fashion. The flamboyant Elsa Scaparelli, known for her collaborations with surrealist artists of the 1930s, and Mucha Prada, who took over the family business in 1978 and turned it into a global empire. And this one's extraordinary too. With the Behind the exhibit is curator Andrew Bolton. Why did you choose to put Elsa Schiaparelli and Mucha Prada together? Both women shared this absolute passion to challenge our expectations about fashion. So the show is really about many conversations. You Schiaparelli did it. It's one between the two women, uh, one between the past and the present, and also between the objects themselves. The objects themselves almost enter into a dialogue with each other. The designer's words echo through the exhibit in a series of imaginary chats. Would we be friends or foes? Brought to life by famed director Baz Luhrmann. The idea was ridiculously attractive. Could these two extraordinarily creative women from a different time, a different place, have a conversation? They tried to make the men more uh, human and the women more powerful. Uh, I think it's not about what's in front of you in terms of an object or the videos. It's about the third experience you have in your own head. An experience against the backdrop of Prada and shocking pink, Scaparelli's favorite hue, that continues to inspire new conversations among the style icons of today. Salute. So that exhibit opens on Thursday at the Met, May 10th. One of the great things that Andrew Bolton, the curator, told me is that mm -hmm. consistently the galleries where they house the fashion exhibits are the loudest in the museum, and he loves that because yes. he says he feels like it's this great unifier where people feel comfortable talking about clothing, but if you're looking at modern art or renaissance art, they almost feel like they need a degree to talk about it, and they're much more reticent, so they love that it's sort of, in his words, a... A unifier. The clothes are so gorgeous, and you got the sneak peek. It's now I want to go, exhibit. Erica. Well, no. I'll, I'll Anna go again. Winter we'll go knows together. how to do it. She, she does. Knows.